Hello, this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this card using the Hydrangea Haven Bundle, which is part of the Hydrangea Hill Suite. So here is the card, and here is the bundle. It has this lovely hydrangea flower that you can color with the stamps as well as some other little hydrangeas and leaves and this little tiny flower too and lovely sentiments and dyes that you can use to cut them out and some extra dyes as well. Other parts of the suite are this lovely sheer gorgeous grape ribbon, these pastel pearls in four different colors, this mercury acetate in two different colors, Rococo Rose and Highland Heather, but also silver on the back, and the Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper, which is super pretty. So I'm going to show you how I made this card. First, I started with a piece of four and a quarter by 11 cardstock and scored that at five and a half. And I used the brick embossing folder to emboss the front of the card. I thought that was a fun embossing folder to use on this card. And then I have um, cut out with the stitched rectangle dies, the second largest die in Highland Heather. And I'm going to stamp some of the flowers on here in Highland Heather. This is a new ink pad, so it's a little bit shy about opening. I'm going to grab this little flower and I'm just going to stamp randomly, kind of from one corner to the other. And while I have the ink out, I'm going to stamp this little tag for you. Sorry for my head. All right. I have already cut out with the dies this uh, piece right here. Let me show you which die it is. It's this right here, and it cuts out all these little flowers as well, so it's fun. You can see kind of the flowers that it cuts out, all these little pieces. Um, but I'm gonna add even uh, more flowers got more flowers here to add and I've already uh, stamped part of the stem and so now I'm just going to stamp the um, shading over top in mossy meadow and this is also a brand new ink pad. I replaced some of my ink pads. So I'm going to, since it's really juicy, I'm gonna stamp off a little bit over here. And I'm just gonna see how light this is. Yes, I like that. Okay, so.
So now um, I've got all my elements for my card. I also have some of the little flowers cut out with an adhesive sheet that I'm going to add to the card as well that I added um, here. You can see the little flowers that I added. And so I'm gonna put this card together. So of course I put some dimensionals on here. Looks like I need a new sheet of dimensionals. Okay, now we're gonna lay this this way. And we're gonna put some dimensionals on here. They'll be hidden because we'll put flowers on there and some dimensionals on here. And we'll do a mini dimensional on this little one. And actually, I should attach this before I do the dimensionals. Because the dimensionals are probably in the way, at least one of them. So I'm going to peel carefully a dimensional off. This delicate paper, which made even more delicate by all the cutouts. And we'll put a little bit of adhesive on here so we can add, how should this go, like this, like that. Okay, oops. All right, so now we will stick this down. We'll add it right here in the middle. I kind of did that, but maybe I'll do, no, I'll do that again. Because I did the flowers this way, so I'm gonna do the hydrangea that way. All right, so now I'm going to add a dimensional to this. I'll do just a half dimensional. I'll put that about right there. And then I'll tie a bow and add it later. Oops, this is peeking through here. So I'm just gonna take a snip at it. All right, now we get to add all these fun little flowers. I'm gonna just kind of shape them on the tip of my finger to curve them up a little bit to make it more fun. And I'm gonna use some liquid glue and I'm just gonna start adding little dots of glue just randomly, wherever, all around, just kind of anywhere. And grab my tweezers. And I'm just going to start putting these on the little dots of glue. I'm going to curl this up. And that just makes it 
th more three-dimensional. It makes it look really cool. here and there we go oops this one okay let that dry and then now we can add these ones which I already have self adhesive on the back of them the reason why I did not put self adhesive on the back of those is because I wanted the sides to stick up and these, I, I don't um, mind them not sticking up, so. These can just lay flat and they'll be fine. Or I can just, you know, kind of do a little bit. All right, so now I'm just gonna add the ribbon. I'm gonna tie a cute little bow. And this ribbon is so nice to work with. It's very easy to tie a cute little bow. Just did two bunny ears, and then tied a knot, and then pulled it. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. There's my cute little bow. And then I'm just going to trim these two sides here. And then we'll get a glue dot. And there's the card. It's so cute. I am offering a free card kit with the Hydrangea Haven bundle, and it consists of six cards, three designs, and you can get this for free when you place a $30 order. Just go to my website and use the February host code send me an email and let me know that you would like the Hydrangea Haven card kit and I will send it right out to you for free. And as always, if you purchase the Hydrangea Haven bundle, I will send you this card kit for free as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out all my Hydrangea Haven cards. I've got several to show you. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.